Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here, and I actually had something pretty exciting happen with Autopilot the other day. I will have the full unedited clip with the original audio at the end of this video, but be warned, I was pretty excited. And my wife kind of picks on me for it, I'll let you hear that for yourself. I was filming a Tesla challenge, which is where I try to allow Autopilot to do everything, and I try not to interact with the car at all unless I absolutely have to. If you've never seen a Tesla challenge video, they're pretty entertaining. And I was coming into a construction zone, and you can see here the barrels start to cut off my lane. So I want to see how Autopilot is going to handle this. And the car is doing a really good job of moving over into the next lane as the barrels are cutting off the lane I'm in. You can see that here. Well, at the end of the row, you can see that there's a barrel that's almost completely in my lane. And Autopilot very gently moves over into the left lane to avoid that barrel and then recenters itself in the lane. It did this despite having to go over a dashed lane line, which Autopilot will not do unless it's making a lane change. So if we check out this clip straight from the car, this is what the front camera is seeing. And from this view, it doesn't look so precarious, but when you're actually driving, you know, this barrel is right in your way. And it's good to see the car is smart enough to not just stay centered in the lane and it's able to avoid it. What we're seeing here are the two side repeater cameras. So these cameras are on the sides of the car facing backwards. You can see that autopilot is actually pretty comfortable getting close to these barrels. But when you're actually driving in the car yourself, it doesn't feel too close. It feels like a comfortable distance and it just kind of bounces off that left lane line as it's avoiding the barrel and recenters itself very smoothly. Okay, so we've had, well, that was weird. We had a turn signal to the left for no reason. We're good, we're good. So we've had pretty smooth sailing so far. We're going into a construction zone and you can see this lane is ending. And look at my car is slowly moving over. There's a barrel in the lane. Oh, and the car avoids it. Oh, did you see that? That was scary. That was, that was insane. It, no indicator, oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. No indicator, the barrel was in our lane and it went over the line to avoid that barrel and got back in the lane. I've never seen anything like that. I'm like so excited. So, very cool. I'm freaking out. We've had, <laughs> I've, it's so cool. Did you think it was, and it was so smooth. The car just very casually like, oh, this barrel's in my way. Let's, let's avoid that. So, real smooth sailing so far, uh, besides some crappy lane changes. But now we're getting into some construction territory. And uh, I think it, based off of that, that barrel was literally in our lane. Um, now, so with, <laughs> are you freaking out over there? You're panicking? So with hardware, <laughs> good thing I'm driving. With hardware 2.5, there was the update where the cones get detected. Look at all these lanes de detected. That looks so cool. Um, on hardware 2.5, it does not display the cones here, but it does detect them. The camera sees all those barrels, all those cones. It just doesn't show them to me on the screen. So as you could just see, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Uh, the, the car will avoid those things, um, but it just doesn't display them. So it sees them. 